Hi guys, it's Tracy in Australia and um, my latest journal is ready to share. This is, I'm calling this one a variation on grunge and um, it's the same construction as um, several that I've done recently, but this one is uh, a little more shabby chic. So I've used um, an old pink and cream quilt piece for the cover used a large doily that I've done a little bit of tea dyeing on on the front here there's um, a small doily um, a few little trims a bit of gathered net some vintage flowers they're really cute and this gorgeous image of a bunny with um, berry a berry wreath and surrounded by berries a little bit of sari that I've gathered there and some creepy cloth right around this one I've um, used some gathered um, vintage net and a little bit of lace so the doily hangs over the edge here on the back and the front um, up the top sari silk poking out the large tags that I have and the closure is uh, seam binding and sari silk. I've put um, two together. Let's see if I can find where to untie the bow. Okay, so inside fabric, um, this has got old um, postcards on it and um, the pink color went really well with the shabby theme. Uh, I haven't used a kit um, per se on this one, but I did uh, purchase two lot two paper sets, small paper sets, from an Etsy shop called Antique Papiri, and I saw them on um, one of the Facebook pages, and they were just so beautiful, and I wasn't disappointed. I loved all of the papers in the two sets that I um, purchased. So everything else is basically uh, leftover pieces that I had in uh, my tub. And I just picked out all the shabby pieces and put them together. So a little saying here, you can't use, cre uh, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Um, vintage postcard showing a girl and a rabbit. Um, I used that one last year on my Easter journal and it's just beautiful and of course some little pieces of um, ephemera. Everything has been heavily tea dyed and um, distressed with Tim Holtz ink and I've done um, the same construction with the pages that I've used on my other grungy journals which is um, I use baking paper then I reinforce the spine area with vintage paper in this case um, vintage dictionary pages and then the front pa page I decorate with um, a commercial or digital page I sew that around and on the back I use um, a vintage dictionary page the pockets being created with commercial and digital papers the fl uh, all of the um, butterflies that you'll see are from uh, the Australian company Kaiser Craft and that's where that little piece comes from. I'm not perfect, I'm original. Oh, seriously, I'm all butterfingers today. <clears throat> Cute little tag. I think that one's Graphics Fairy and I've used a little number up the top and um, a bit of string there to attach it and a vintage um, Easter card, just the front. So this is a new die cut that I have, love how it looks and I've used that instead of a doily, I've um, punched that out onto watercolour paper. So this is my heavily tea dyed and torn and distressed um, copy paper. I like the blank spaces so that you do have somewhere to write. So a lot going on on this page, a um, little pocket, little envelope that goes in the pocket with a stamped bunny. Oh, it just pops in there and there there's another pocket there this is from graphics fairy really cute a vintage photo of a vintage drawing of a hair and um, then 
to um, this one's commercial, this one's digital, go in that top pocket. And then up the top here, one of the large tags that I have been enjoying making. So I've used a manila folder on the back there. This is um, one of the, com the, com the um, digital that I purchased from Antique Papiri and I just used that as the basis for a tag and decorated that a little bit. So those large tags actually, together with all of the ephemera, give you lots of writing space, I think. Um, coin envelope made out of um, baking paper, just a couple of bits of ephemera in there, stamped vintage onto that little scrappy piece. Really enjoying doing these because I've always loved a grungy look. So there's a little bit of Tim Holtz washi. This is the center and um, I've used a page from Shinami Rose, printed that onto tracing paper and cut out an envelope. This is an image that I've printed onto um, a commercial um, piece of scrap that I had. So here again, just so much going on and I just love it. Love all the little pockets, love all the little pieces of ephemera that I can stick in there. This is a commercial piece. Um, bit of Shinami Rose, these two. This is a Kaiser Craft Butterfly and then the antique papyri paper behind. So I've got a little envelope and I've put a little stamp of an Australian bird into that. Then these two little tickets go in there. Yes, they do. And then some com then some other little bits. This is leftover from the, ta the large tag. So it's from a manila envelope and I've um, used a corner punch up there and stuck a piece of commercial um, paper on there to decorate. Stuck, glued, that sounds better, doesn't it? So here I've used a little butterfly as a tuck spot there's a little bunny. You can open that up and write. Just, just love, love, love all of these little bits. Have so much fun putting in the ephemera. So a lot of sewing and I have left the threads on, but of course you could cut those. Um, off if you wanted to. So here I collaged various little bits and pieces that I had to um, around um, this piece to make a little pocket. Just put them in to give like a little bit more interest. This is actually part of um, a purchase from Screech Owl. There were I think eight ATC sized um, tags. So just decorated with um, a paper doily. Again, the collaging. Just popped a few little pieces in. This is a graphics fairy piece and I've just um, clipped with a stapler two stamped out tickets. These are some little uh, Kaiser Craft pieces. This is actually the beginning of the second signature. So two little Kaiser Craft pieces, little booklet, I'm just a vintage soul. Just some scrappy bits. This is from an Aussie lady called uh, Red Deer Printables. And beautiful large tag there. Can't remember where I got that. So again a little bit of collaging. This is um, from Shinami, Shinami Rose. That's from Charming Fragments, one of the first digital kits I ever bought. How cute is this? Little bunnies, the little girl's outfit, love her stripy socks and the hat. These look great. They're a great alternative to um, a doily and it's uh, on um, watercolour paper which is, is quite nice to touch. 
So here I've um, used a bit of string for the little butterfly's antennas and that just dangles there. This is a little die cut envelope that I have with a little piece in there, remember today. This is a Kaisercraft one. No one made a difference by being like everyone else. And this one, a beautiful drawing of some bunnies and I've put that onto a leftover commercial piece of paper. So again, another large tag. This one has a little pocket made from a paper doily. You can see these beautiful, beautiful papers. That little oval card is just so cute. There's the center. And um, this is a calico collage piece. I used that on the cover of um, a journal a couple of months ago. And I had that piece left over because I was um, sizing. The real secret to a fabulous life is to live imperfectly with delight. And I just love how that pink picks up the pink on the paper and on that little pocket. This is such a little cutie. It was a car, an Easter card and it was pulling an egg and I didn't want this to particularly be an Easter journal although with the rabbits it could be, so I made it into a little wagon and pop, pop some ephemera in there. Again, a leftover piece of a manila folder. Go your own way as a sentiment onto there. I think they look really cute. I don't know what they were used for. I got them at the Opportunity Shop. Doing what makes my soul happy, and I love those colours together. I might pop another tag in there, I think, just to fill that up a little bit more. So this is my final page. So a little pocket, two little tickets. They're from Kaisercraft. This is a little piece that I've had kicking around for a while, so I... Um, glued some paper onto there so you've got a little bit more writing space. Put a tab up the top so it's easy to take out. Beautiful, beautiful old. Look at that. Um, part of an Easter card and a little pocket. That one's a Shinami Rose piece. All right, there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed um, this flip through. I would really, really appreciate it if you left me a like or a comment. And I'll see you next time with a new journal. Thanks for watching.